you guys, I hope you are doing well and stay healthy. Today's video is about another digital note taking app, the one that I use the most so far, Note Shelf. But before we jump into the video, let me introduce you to this useful laptop stand, which now I'm using it as my tab stand. This laptop stand was sent by Lanshan and I love it. Simply, this makes my college activity way more comfortable since everything is online now. So, thank you very much Lanshan for sending me this one. This is Lanshan L5 adjustable aluminum laptop stand. As the name of the product, we can adjust it its height and angle. I usually use this to take the LCD to my eye level. Personally, this helps with my posture and it's perfect match with wireless keyboard and mouse. The material is aluminum which has a good heat dissipation. It helps the cooling down process of the laptop. It also comes with rubber pads to prevent slip and scratches. This is solid and strong with heavy duty up to 5 kg. The length is 11.8 inches and this is what my laptop and tab look like on it. For sure, I will use this as my tablet stand too. And yeah, this laptop stand came with product manual and warranty card. Because this is also foldable, it could keep the desk neat. Generally, I think laptop stand is good for everybody that spend most of their time in front of the laptop or tab or any kind of sit for a long time is already not really good and I don't want to get big pain too. If you are interested to have same as mine, I have coupon code 20% off for your purchases. It's SALS20. Please visit their website for purchasing and get know more about their products. And for the link, I drop it in the description box below. And now let's move on to the note shelf. So I got the note shelf from Google Play Store for 5 USD. There is no free version of note shelf, so we have to pay for it and this is one time purchase app. This update was on 15th July 2021. So I think the app is well maintained. And for backup, backup is the most essential thing in digital note taking. Here we could pick up our notes to Dropbox, Google Drive, OneDrive, or Evernote. To check out the backup, you can tap the cloud icon, and it will send the last backup. By this far, I don't see any problem with picking up my notes. And next is organizing the notes. We could make folder or categories as much as we want, but unfortunately we couldn't make any sub category. And this is an empty category looks like. From here we can start making a new note, import a document like PDF, picture or even scan document. For the quick note, it is like a shortcut way to make a note. We could manage the template of it in the beginning. This is perfect for the type of useful note or when in a rush. Or else you can create a new one unlike your usual with another template of cover and paper. We can also make a note with documents such as PDF. I like to write on my PDF marking, even adding the important information. For me, this could replace the PDF reader application. We can add a picture as the base or our note too, but I rarely use this feature. And the next one is template. They provide free cover and templates. There are many templates such as basic 
plain grid dot paper in some colors or planner diaries and some aesthetic covers once the template downloaded you can use them right away so now let's make a new note here are some cover templates that i have for college notes i prefer a simple one and the aesthetic yet colorful one for bullet journal And these are paper templates that I have. For college, I prefer use A4, grid, or plain. But these are also good though, but just unusual for me. And these are the planner templates that could be useful for a bullet journal. Other than that, we can also upload a custom cover or paper template. In today's video, I'm going to make a mind map, so I chose plain one. Oops, it has to be landscape, but we can change the paper right away. The previous one is adding a picture as a page or base of a note. This is inserting a picture to the note. We can crop, trim, rotate, resize, move, and lock the picture. But sometimes it's hard to rotate or resize the picture. And the next one is adding an audio recording. Oke, okay, jadi ini adalah uh, fitur rekaman dari Notshelf. Oke, okay, sebagai pembanding, ini hasil rekaman suara dari perekam suaranya Samsung. Hasil. What do you think? I personally never use this feature. And finally, we got into the tool. The tool is basically basic, which has pen, highlighter, eraser, text box, and selection tool. For the pen, there are three types. One of them can be used for calligraphy style. We also can add more color. And we can adjust the thickness too. Here are the strokes of each pen looks like. There is also a favorite pair. We can add the most used pen or highlighter color into it and also pin the favorite toolbar. For the highlighter, there are two types, brown and flat. The selection tool type is select by stroke. If you want to move any object, we don't have to cover all object. And gladly, the highlighter goes under the pen. For the eraser tool, there are erase by stroke, by the area of the eraser, or erase the whole page. And there is also a shape tool, which we can make a perfect line, or perfect shape, like I did. And the next one is text tool. Usually, I never use this tool because I prefer one note for type writing note. I don't know why, but shortcut like copy paste or ctrl z doesn't work here. We can resize the book and also change the font style and size. And now, it's not taking time. making a mind map for essay or paper assignment so I can see clearly the big picture of the topic it also helps me to short out the content of the essay I made I wrote down first the main point of, of my topic and then expand it out to the details 
I got these tips from one of my training in the scholarship program and this is very useful for brainstorming lastly I add picture if it's possible and coloring it with highlighters so it won't be seen that flat and boring and I'm done here are some other notes that I had made I also made a master plan for tracking my progress through this last semester and for this one, I made the template by myself The final conclusion Is it worth the price? For me it is, because it's comfortable to use but it will be even worth to buy if there is no bug other than that, I don't find any issue, the auto backup did well, I never had a problem with missing note, and I think note self makes my handwriting smoother than any other apps. Technically, I like how the application looks like, it looks neat, well organized, and easy to understand, so it's pleasant to be seen. And also, there are many free templates, so this is suitable for anyone that wants to go simple and quick. But of course, we still can make a custom one and make and do our creation. And that's it. I hope you find this video useful. And if you like the video, please give a thumb up and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching my video and see you again. Bye-bye.